Hi everyone, uh, my name is Wes McDonald and this is take three. <laughs> um, so I have a lovely wife and two children. Uh, my youngest is five months old, her name's Eden Joy, and I have a two and a half year old named Emmaus James uh, McDonald. So we're blessed uh, in our household with a happy little family and uh, our ministry context is primarily dealing with church planting. So um, we live currently, we recently moved to the inner city of Dayton, Ohio. And we're working with a ministry that's going to uh, be planting what they call a dream center. And effectively, it's a holistic Christian approach to life for people in inner city community. Um, and what that looks like is for people getting out of prison, for people that need housing, for people that are living on the streets, connecting them steps one to ten to transform their life physically, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. Um, and so there will be a church, there will be a kids ministry, um, and the amazing thing is that God's funny. I mean, it's not just a, a crazy vision like it's happening. Um, unfortunately, it's been pushed back with COVID. So that has uh, hindered the startup a little bit. Um, but it's also given more time to for us to, to kind of get to come along them beside them and, and help. Um, we originally were helping as uh, outreach and youth pastors um, with another ministry for about nine years and we were like okay God's pulling our heart away we're ready to go where are you calling us and, he, and we went uh, overseas we were looking at doing foreign missions and it it did not um, It just wasn't the heart of God for our lives. We, we met up with some folks that were doing ministry over there and talked with them and we kind of came back and just assessed where we were called to be and we really felt like inner city ministry was, was it. And then where we were called to be and it was Dayton, Ohio. So this is where we're at and we're loving it. We're enjoying it. Um, it's stinks with COVID because we can't uh, interact with people as much. Um, but eventually, when we can get a lot of people in our home and really um, use our, our home effectively, we're, we're kind of renovating everything in our house to, to make it a place where we can host a lot of people um, from the community and just bring people in, eat with them, fellowship with them, love on them. Um, so it's been a process, um, but our pers my personal goal for this course um, is really to, to redefine my communication style to more effectively communicate God's heart. I, I've noticed, especially um, with all the social distancing and the COVID and all this stuff going on, like my communication skills have regressed some and I, I notice it especially going through the readings already and going oh yeah I know that I should remember that um, but I haven't been effectively communicating like that um, so that that's kind of a, a big thing really to not have a worse default <laughs> if that makes sense you know when you've You've not um, maybe communicated in a large group or around a lot of people as much uh, as we were previously, as we've been preparing and, and just seeking God and moving here and, um, you know, kind of building relationship and, and that kind of thing. Um, you know, I've not been up in front of a lot of people and, and speaking and that and those kinds of opportunities. So um, I'm really looking forward to redefining my communication style 
communication skills and just pressing towards the mark for Christ. Uh, thank you so much.